Hi, this is uh, Michael Byron Smith. Um, I'm about to do a tutorial about how to work with uh, classic animated GIFs and uh, make them a lot bigger, and uh, so you can make those pixels uh, look really big and do some basic editing so you can explode the classic animated GIF. Um, recently, I was uh, looking looking at uh, some old animated GIFs because I was playing with them to. Uh, because I wanted to find that uh, one of the classic Netscape animated GIFs, which I, I ended up finding in another place. Um, and I just love these old GIFs that, that people created with a limited number of colors because the GIF format is a uh, index color palette. I mean, there's only 256 colors of maximum you can use in any single GIF. Uh, you can use as few as uh, one, or which would be silly, you know, which would be just a single pixel, and people used to use that in web design, um, or two. and so people would create, and this is like a GIF made of like five colors, actually. There's a red, a yellow, a green, a black, and a gray. Um, this construction guy GIF was basically three, the black and the yellow. I added the white. Uh, normally it's transparent. A motor, uh, the 7-Up guy, and uh, burning burning everything up in your, your trash can. And these were all GIFs that basically clocked in under about, a, um, you know, a, 10k, and that's kilobytes. Except for this last one, which was uh, we had, uh, you know, Ken touches. It's hammer time. So uh, that was one of my favorites. That was probably the biggest at 65k. But then I finally came across this uh, exploding chicken, and yeah, I know it's a rooster, but they 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 um, call it exploding chicken. And I'd be thought it'd be fun to do a basic edit of this one as well as exploding it. So I was going to show you how I did that in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop 5, but all the tools I'm using are pretty much available in, in most versions of Photoshop. So you, you should be fine with, with any of them. So um, this is what we're looking at. I, I open this GIF and uh, in, in, in Photoshop, and under the Windows palette, I made animation visible, all right? And in the newest version of Photoshop, that's called Timeline, uh, which is, a, is a, like, so like Adobe, to keep changing things. Um, and you can see this GIF is made of nine layers, and every layer is its own frame, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna resize this and make it a lot bigger. So, because uh, we have a lot of space now on, on the web, and we wanna make this uh, rooster chicken uh, look quite large. So we're going to resize this, but we're going to do one specific thing. We're going to resize this to um, at a 600 width pixels. But uh, normally, we, when doing resizing, you work with a bicubit or best uh, smooth gradients. But we want to have, do work with uh, to preserve hard edges so it maintains that uh, blocky look of the animated GIF. As you can see, you can see still have the hard edge of the comb of the rooster and the the, the wick burning. So the next thing we're going to uh, do, though, is we're going to we're going to cover up the text here, so that I can uh, then rewrite over it. So I'm using the marquee selection tool, and I'm going to make a, a selection around where this uh, TNT word is, and then I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to select the red, and um, and then I'm going to create a, a new layer. Or 10, and I'm going to put that at the top, and I'm going to fill it with red with Option Delete. It's a keyboard shortcut um, to to fill with red. And now what's happened is, by default, um, let me bring this back up. By default, the that new layer was placed in every frame, so that's okay. Except for we have a, a couple problems in frames. Frame one through five, it's it's just fine. As I, I walk through these frames, you can see it's fine. But then frame six, the, the animation moved the stick of dynamite to the right, so we have to move it. And then in frame seven, eight, and nine, we need to turn off that layer for those seven frames. So it's pretty easy to turn off layers within a particular frame of an animation. Um, I'm, I clicked on uh, frame seven, and I'm holding down the shift key, and clicking on frame 9, so I, I highlight all three of those frames, and then I can turn off the layer. And so now that's fixed. And then for frame 6, I can just uh, go to the Move tool, 
and I can nudge over just by hitting the right arrow key. I can nudge, or I could use the, the, the cursor itself and nudge over that little red block I created so that it's, in, it's now in, in the right place in the animation. So now as I play this, you can see I have the TNT uh, successfully covered. So now I need to add uh, a, a new, new text. And in this case, I'm going to add DS-106 because you know, DS-106 easily explodes the chicken. So I'm going to move to my uh, text tool here. And let's go back to frame one. And I'm going to create, I found this uh, font on the website Defont called Minecrafter, that it's a very blocky font to look a lot like uh, old, uh, old uh, uh, low, low res graphics. And I'm going to type out DS106, which I have to make sure I do in black. D. And I'm just hitting a return for each line. One, zero. Six, all right, and now I have DS one hundred six in all the frames again because it's a new layer. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to position it. We're going to again turn it off for uh, frames seven through nine, and I'm going to position it for first first all the frames so they're all it's all centered in the same place. So I highlight frames one through six. And I'm going to center uh, using again the move tool now, and I have that text layer highlight. I'm going to center this in the stick of dynamite where I want it, All right? And that's fixed some things. So if I go back to the first frame, I hit play, but the stick of dynamite was going down, and then you can see in the six frames it moves to the right. So it's fine for frames one, three, and five, but for two. And four, it needs to go down a little bit. So first we're gonna work with two and four, and I'm gonna highlight both those. We're using the command key, two and four. And I'm gonna drop it down. Now I'm using the down arrow button so it stays centered, but I'm just shifting it down a little bit, all right? So that's frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, whoops, for some reason frame four didn't go down. I guess I have to do them separately. So frame four will shift down, All right? And then frame five, and then six, we just have to move over. So now I'm doing the right arrow key, All right? And so we hit play, 